Norm King is our next guest. He's an author, and I'll give you one guess as to what his latest book is about. Obviously, the Expo is a... Uh, Norm, you have a, a pretty much a, a lifelong love affair with this team, don't you? I went to my first game at Jerry Park when I was 12 years old on May 1st, 1969. May, wow, so first season there. So first you, season. So you followed this team during their entire history. Of course, they left town at the end of the 2004 season. Uh, what led you to, uh, to edit and author a lot of this book, which is called The 50 Greatest Play Ball, The 50 Greatest Games in the History of the Montreal Expos? What made you write this? Well, I wanted to get some of the French, and so I made the title Au Jeu Play Ball, yeah. The 50 Greatest Games. Um, I'm a member of the Society for American Baseball Research. Which is a big, this is a lot of people who are, yeah. uh, who are dedicated to studying the history of baseball. Close to 10,000 yeah. members. Wow, okay. And the, uh, one of our projects is to write biographies of former ballplayers. And uh, the first ballplayer that I uh, interviewed and did a biography on was Steve Rogers. Wow. Because my goal is, in writing these biographies is to focus on players for the Expos. And this uh, book is 50 of the greatest games in Expos history. Let's talk about a few of these games. And, you know, you mentioned your first game was in 1969. And obviously at the top of that list is the first game that the Expos uh, did play, right? Uh, at Shea Stadium on April 8, 1969. Take us back to that day and why that uh, made the list. Well, it made the list because it proved beyond any doubt that... Uh, baseball was coming to Montreal, Major League Baseball. We had had Minor League Baseball, but now Montreal was in the majors. And it was important because uh, a lot of people who were friends of the Montreal, fans of the Montreal Royals in the early days uh, took the, uh, took the, uh, took the, uh, arrival of the Expo was very emotionally. Uh, Dave Van Horn told me that Russ Taylor, his broadcast partner, started to cry when he heard, Oh Canada. Played at played. Shea Stadium. That's right. Dave Van Horn, the legendary Expo's broadcaster, he wrote the foreword to this book. That's correct. And one of the things about this book that strikes me is that, you know, it's not just a recap. This guy got a hit. This guy got a home run. It really captures the emotion of those games. How was that? How, was that difficult to do? No, it wasn't because uh, with the internet, there's so much that you can find about what went on in, during the games. And also, I was fortunate enough to uh, interview uh, people who were involved in one way or another. For example, in uh, Gary Carter's last game with the Expos. A game I was at. Remember it well, yeah. I uh, managed to interview his widow, Sandy Carter. And she was uh, quite uh, charming and forthcoming. And it was, it was really, really... But there it is. There it is. There yeah. after that after this there's the double he hits over yeah. Andre Dawson's over Andre head. Andre Dawson's head. Yeah. What an incredible moment. One yeah. of those 50 games you can read about in this book. Also, you mentioned, you know, the Expos had a few incredible years, late 70s, early 80s. It led to their only division title uh, in 1981 and and one of those games particularly fond for you. I one well I wrote uh, about several of the games. That was an odd year because there was a strike mid-season yes. and so they had this what was then an unusual playoff format where there was a second playoff series. The Expos won uh, three out of five games in Philadelphia. Steve Rogers beat Steve Carlton twice. And uh, one of the, then they played the Los Angeles Dodgers in the National League Championship Series. And the game I wrote about uh, in that, from that series was Steve Rogers' uh, complete game victory in game three. Uh, that included a three-run home run by Jerry White. People remember Blue Monday a lot. We're but not we talking don't, we about don't, that. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that, but we do have to remember that Steve Rogers pitched that team to that position in the first place. Right. Every game in the book is a victory. Yeah. And, and speaking of victories, because we're running out of time here, when we talk about emotion, Curtis Pride, yes. deaf player for the Expos, that really touched you, didn't it? It touched me because in researching it, he, I read a quote from him where he said he felt the applause of 45,000 people. Yeah, I was there. The place was rumbling. It was shaking. Norm King, thank you so much for joining us. The book is available on Amazon. It's actually doing really well in, those, in, in the charts for baseball history books, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Okay, go check it out there on Amazon. Norm King, the author of Oje Play Ball, the 50 greatest games in the history of the Montreal Expos. Thanks.